Nothing produces more distress, many reformers believe, than the crowded immigrant neighborhoods of American cities. One response is to create settlement houses, like Hull House, which opens in Chicago in 1889. Jane Addams and a group of women using capital partially from their families, partially solicited from the local businessmen, buy a house in the middle of an immigrant area in Chicago. They move into the house and they begin to run classes on educating people in child care, in hygiene, and also in the ways of Western civilization, which means musical education, literary education. One of Hull House's most famous alumni is probably Benny Goodman, who is an orphan child of Russian emigres who was supposed to be learning classical clarinet and somehow got sidetracked into jazz, which he found much more interesting. In a way, that's kind of the story of the progressive movement. Progressives like Jane Addams set out to civilize the immigrant workers, and the immigrant workers came and took away from it what they wanted rather than what the progressives wanted them to take away. The settlement house idea is borrowed from England and given an American twist. There are settlement houses in Britain, but they're not the female enterprises that they are in the United States. The kinds of women who go into social work in the United States are university-educated women who can't get professional degrees. And something like a half to two-thirds of the first graduates of those women don't marry at all. But they take on the job of, in some ways, marrying the world. You know, the world is their household, and they're going to reform that household. <laughs> 